Morning folks, I'm Dave Canterbury with Self Reliance Outfitters and the Pathfinder School. What I want to show you today is a technique that was developed or used and taught by Ron Hood called the Ottoman or Ottomani Sun Compass. To calibrate this compass or create the device, we need to first set up a typical shadow stick and track the sun's movements over time. I've set a main shadow stick up over here and I've tracked the sun's movement over the last four hours. It's important to understand that if you want a good accurate east-west line, you're going to need to track the sun for several hours. It's not good enough just to put a stick in the ground every 15 minutes. You'll get an east-west line that way, but it won't be very accurate. If we want to take a device that we are going to create to carry over distance to use, we want this device to be as accurate as we can make it. So what I've done is I tracked from early morning when the sun came up till close to the noontime hour here. And I've got four stakes in the ground and my shadow stick. And you can see that the shadows moved slightly off of the last stick that I placed in now. And so what that gives us is if we take a straight edge and put it across here, it should give us a pretty accurate east-west line. Now, they're not exactly in a line, but they're close. There is some curvature of the sun because the sun moves in an arc. So a straight line is not going to be the most accurate, but it will be close. And that's part of the issue with the Ottomani sun compass is based on a straight line and not an arc, which makes it a little less accurate. But for quick down and dirty, it works great. So that's why I'm going to show it to you today. So we're going to take this east-west stick and we're going to lay it in between two of these stakes that are about an hour, hour and a half apart. And we're going to check to see where we're at as far as accuracy goes on an east-west line using a compass, just for verification. Now I've turned the compass, or excuse me, the camera around 180 degrees here so that you could get a better visual without the shadows being in your way. If we lay this compass at the apex of this east-west line, and one of our stakes, so we've got a right angle there, we should have our compass needle facing fairly north, which we do. It is very few degrees off of north, and remember that this is a magnetic azimuth, and this is a solar azimuth, so there's a difference there. And we are probably that much off of what the compass says is magnetic north. So that's really, really close. Now that we've got this dialed in, we can create the Ottoman sun compass. Okay, to make our Ottoman sun compass, we just need a piece of wood. And we can cut that with our ax and our saw from any piece of wood that we can find. Then we'll need to drill a hole in that piece of wood for a gnomon, which is just a short stick that's going to cast a line to make a shadow on this board. What we're going to do is we're going to take this board, first of all, before we do anything else, and we're going to calibrate it by laying it across this line, this linear line. And the shadow is going to be touching the board, depending on what hour of the day you're setting this up, it's going to be touching the board somewhere. And you're going to make a mark at that point and then draw a line across the board in a straight line direction. So you've got an equal distance here and here to ensure you have a straight line. What that's going to do is it's going to give you a line that you're going to want to line that shadow up with. And you can see it's lined up with it right now. And I put a month on here. I put April on that line. And I put an N for north at the front of this board. You're going to need to recalibrate this probably every week or two because the sun will change its altitude in the sky throughout the season. So the shadow length is going to vary depending on time of day throughout the season as well. And you'll need to recalibrate this the same way we're doing it today, a week or two weeks from now. But for something you're only going to use for one day to try to walk a straight line, this is definitely the ticket. It doesn't take very long to make this object. Now, the next important thing to do is to either drill four holes in this board or to put four saw kerfs in there, something that you can suspend this board by four strings 
like this to keep it level. And the reason you want this board to be level is so that when you move it, you are dialing in your bearing so that you know when that shadow is touching that line. You can see here it's not, here it's not. And as I move it forward, and the shadow touches the line. We are lined up with basically our east-west line here. If I get it off the grass, get it on a flat spot. And that gives us a northern direction on the front of this board. And that's important to understand as well. I've got it a little bit off level here. And you can level it really easy if you use a set of strings that are a loop like this. You'll be able to level this really easy after you've made it just by holding it up and letting it float naturally and then getting that moved this way or this way on those strings to make sure that that line is touching in exactly the same place it was here. If you've got that, then you've got it leveled out and you're going to be accurate with it. Now you can walk with this thing and move with this thing. And when you change directions, the shadow is going to move off the line. And as the hours pass through the day, your shadow will get longer and it will touch the line in a different place or shorter. And it will touch the line in a different place. But always touching the line should make the compass front point north. And I've got an end marked on the board for that. Okay, so now that we have our Ottomani Sun Compass calibrated, we can actually put this thing in our pocket and walk to a desired object that we're not going to lose sight of. And again, things like this are only to really help us walk a straight line and find a general cardinal direction. Once we get to the location that we want to take another reading or another bearing off of, we pull out our Ottoman compass and facing our direction of travel, whichever that is that we wish to go. Obviously, if we want to go this way, we're going west, east, south, and north. And we, as long as we hold this compass up to where that line is touched by the shadow on the board, just like we did on the ground a minute ago, then we have those cardinal directions identified. We can lay this thing on the ground or we can shoot a bearing off the front of this board. As long as the shadow is touching that line, we've got our four cardinal directions and we can navigate in one of those four directions using this board. So looking at this board from the top again, try to get it in the camera for you guys. All we're doing is, if we're facing this way when we stop, all we're doing is moving our body or moving the board until that shadow is touching the line not crossing the line, but touching the line. And that should be a northern direction. And then we can get right behind that board and know that we're facing north. So at this point, I would take this board and just set it straight on the ground and then figure out where my cardinal directions are and what my next direction of travel is going to be. And I can use this board to identify those four cardinal directions fairly easily over distance leapfrogging as I go, just like I would if I had a compass. Again, this is a very easy object to construct. It's a little bushcrafty project. Just any veneer of wood that you can slice off of a log and then four slits in it for your saw with your saw blade to be able to put the string into and one hole you've got to drill into it to put a gnomon in. Other than that, you just need a marking device to get that thing marked up so that you know where your line is that your shadow is supposed to touch and you're good to go. Okay guys, well this is a really simple bushcraft project that you can make with simple tools. If you need to on the fly to either verify that your compass is working properly or in lieu of a compass if you've lost or damaged it. I learned this from Ron Hood many years ago and he kind of pioneered this theory on video and things like that. So I thought I would pass it on to you today because I use this as a baseline for teaching more complicated shadow board methods that I have taught in other videos. And we teach this in a lot of our classes as well. So I hope you enjoyed it today and I hope it was a simple enough explanation for you. I appreciate your support. I appreciate everything that you do for our school, for our family, for our business, for all of our sponsors, instructors, affiliates, and friends. And I'll be back with another video as soon as I can. Thanks guys.